Hey everybody, we're gonna try this once again. I'm about to get on a flight from Philadelphia back to the Bay Area, and I'm going to try to test this GPS tracker that I got. Now I'm gonna turn it on once I leave this uh, airport area, and we'll see the difference as it goes through different circumstances. It, I expect to uh, gain contact with the satellites and lose contact a number of times uh, as I go from the main airport area down the ramp into the fuselage and before I get to my window seat. And I do have a window seat this time and I will be monitoring this uh, GPS tracker the entire time, uh, making sure it makes continuous with contact. If it at any time loses contact, I will adjust it and uh, see if I can change its position so I get contact again. Uh, I'm gonna try it this way because that's what I'm gonna have to do on my my big flight i'm going to have to kind of stay vigilant and make sure that my gps is tracking as much as possible it may go in and out here and there but i got to make sure it continues tracking as much as possible all right wish me luck hey everybody okay so i'm back on the ground and that seemed to have gone perfectly uh it pretty much went the way i thought it was going to uh, you can see from this footage here as i went down the um the loading ramp I had a signal until I got into the tunnel and then I lost a connection to all the satellites. And then when I got to my seat, I was able to reestablish connection and lock to um, a number of satellites. I kept a connection throughout the entire flight. Um, there were a couple brief occasions where I lost satellite lock, but I never lost uh, any complete connection the entire flight. I was tracking the entire time until we got all the way to the ground, as you can see here, all the way to landing. I'm still um, tracking everything. So I'm hoping tomorrow to actually get the log information, start learning how to uh, decode the information that comes in on, these, uh, on this GPS and maybe upload some of that information so you can see the type of data that I will be presenting when I do my uh, full flight. I do want to take a moment to talk about um, a video or at least a, a discussion that's going on. Apparently, Mr. Marble uh, was on Nathan Oakley's show, I think that's his name, uh, yesterday or maybe it was even this morning, saying that he had a, 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 a news flash about the uh, over the poles flight, saying that um, there is a, a, um, a, a disclaimer or a, a notice on it that people will not be allowed to take uh, equipment or any type of you know scientific equipment for experimentation on the flight and he made this as if it was some type of big uh, important news announcement because you know it's important that he sounds like he has more information than other people but also he's trying to make it look like there is something going on and that my uh, venture here is not going to be successful Here's the thing, that notification has been on that website since about two days after I started my Kickstarter. It wasn't there when I started the Kickstarter. It got on there just a couple days, uh, or within a couple days of my Kickstarter beginning. And apparently, well, and I've been talking to the people who are uh, putting this thing together, and I've already discussed what I'm doing. And apparently they've been getting a lot of contacts from flat earthers who have been saying that they wanted to take um, gyros and other equipment on there to do experimentation and they said they didn't want that to happen. And so then they were accused by these people of being part of the conspiracy and all that because flat earthers don't know how to act right. It's really not that difficult to take care of these things. You don't have to act out and burn your bridges. The thing is, is you don't need to have special uh, experimental equipment or do special experiments to, to, to test this. All you need to do is observe and track if you have a compass, you can observe what direction you're going the entire time. Have a camera on so you can see the direction the sun is coming from at any particular time, given the direction you are going in and where you are on the planet. It's not that difficult. You can time the length of time it takes for you to go from Argentina to Australia, and then you can gauge how far that would be if it was on a flat map versus on a globe and then you can figure out that oh well if it's on a globe they're going about five or six hundred miles an hour but if they're on a flat map somehow they ended up going 1200 1300 1500 miles per hour to get there 
it's not that difficult. You don't need to do a lot of scientific investigation in order to do this. You just need to observe. I'm gonna be able to do this because I know how to act like an adult. I've already talked to them. They know that I'm not there to disrupt anything and we're gonna get along just fine. Oh, and I can't believe I actually didn't mention this. There's still less, there's less than 24 hours left on the Kickstarter campaign. Even though it is fully funded, we can still put some more money into it if we want to try to uh, do a little bit more. We're not gonna have enough to get anybody else on this flight, but we might have enough for maybe upgrade my seat. Who knows, we'll see what we can do. So if you wanna get any swag, if you wanna help uh, me get this done and show these people who are trying their best to just, just shit on this possibility, please donate. Take care. That's my job. That's what I do. I don't lose. I win. I win. Is there no one on this planet to even challenge me? Maybe you came by to congratulate me on last night's victory.